I'm just playing through this game for the first time. This is why this game is good, bro. It's because this game has actual PvP mode, right? Like, it's not because of the open world or any of that stuff. Like, this right here, like, the, the open world and all the grinding and all that stuff, that's like the icing on the cake. All they would need to do is make this so you can leave the match and it'll be better. Bro, you just choose a Naruto character or whatever other uh, anime is in this game, and you just fight people, and it's equalized stats. So, like, you see how I beat that last guy? Like, it's, it's like, as long as you can outsmart them, like, bro. This is literally, this game literally embodies everything that I've always said that fighting games need. This game has a semi-open world. It has missions, like it has all this different shit. Bro, like I've always wondered what would happen if Tekken made an open world game. And here it is right here. If this if this game was Tekken. <laughs> Man, game developers are so bad at their job, like, oh my god. Hold on, like, I didn't even know this was in the game. Like, no wonder people are always playing the game. Like, look at this game modes real quick. They have a conquest mode, this is where you get in, and you fight against people, right? It's basically the average, what is the name of what I'm thinking about? I forgot the name, holy shit. Call of Duty, right? This is basically the average Call of Duty match. You go in, you hold the point down, and then you get to the location. 
This I haven't tried that yet, but it's a tournament, so this is a role playing mode. Really, this is like, oh my god, bro. Imagine if Tekken went and adopted all of this and put it into their fucking game, like. All, right now, all Tekken and Street Fighter and all these games, all they have is this, and then they have a story mode. Like, bro, these games are lacking so fucking hard. Unlock characters in Mini Game Arena. I'm going to try this out if I can do it. I'm trying these game modes out and I'm like actually surprised. I only have one character right now, so it, it kind of sucks for me. And I think you don't get any money from this. This is the most annoying part. All you get is experience. But it's like, bro. These games, bro, these Roblox games, holy shit. They're literally doing everything that game developers should be doing. Okay, so hopefully you can... Okay, so there's other players in here. I'm going to choose fucking blue team. I'm going to automatically make one team a little one-sided if our team has good abilities. But bro, it's just really annoying that this Roblox game is doing everything that console game should do. Alright, so, as like I said, you know, I just unbalanced the game, made whatever team forced them to win. But the, the, the lame thing about this is that you don't, I think you don't make any money from this. So, instead of being able to grind this out for the hours and hours, and then go into the open world and use this, this only works here, but it also uses your money that you've grinded out in the open world, so... Like, it's a very bad system to do that. But the benefit, right? Like, all of these are cheap. Everything in the game, in the, in the fighting part of the game, is cheap. You can do, like, four to five missions and get this money back. But the reason I won't, I won't waste my fucking points right now, is because... I'm probably not even going to come back to this mode, so it's not very, like, it makes no sense for me to use stuff here. Oh, and it looks like you get some of these from doing this, so it's not entirely a use or a waste of your time to do this. But it's like, bro, why is... Roblox simply developing the game with all the modes and the game developers for Naruto and shit like they're so incompetent that they don't just look at this and say oh cool look maybe we could fucking Welcome use some of these fucking the game modes in our game like it's just it's like holy shit man the incompetence on this fucking planet is astro fucking nomical So I'm gonna try out another game mode. Can I even do this one? Yeah, I can't even do that one. So I think this mini game arena is the exact same thing except you're not on teams. But bro, it's 
it's just really odd at this point that these fucking games. Oh no, you're still on teams. Let's just three v one. No, we can't do that. <laughs> but anyways, it's like, bro, this is actually pretty disappointing. I didn't realize that I would end up having to use my own character. My my own character is bad. It's very weak. Look at how terrible this is. I can't do anything at all. Holy shit, bro, like, every ability they have is just huge area effect. Why didn't they make it so you can choose to leave any of these? Holy shit. They need to make it so you can have the selection to go back, god damn. Because these modes are actually terrible. Really, they're all bad modes. Except for the one where you fight the fucking characters in the arena. Because everything else is just is not really balanced. Welcome to Life 2. Except when you're 1v1ing, right? People can buy a different character and just beat you up. You know has a lot of game modes for entertainment purposes. <laughs> okay, so these game modes right here, right? These like this is why the game is a good game. Right, I didn't ever play any of them, I just tried this one, and this one is broken right now, or it's broken on Xbox, you can't actually do it. But I'm going to AFK, so I can make money, and then buy the transformation thing. Because I already have one, let me, let me look at it real quick. I forget what it's called, this Mustang or some shit like that. Hold on, where is it? Dang, I really forgot. Oh, it's right here. So I have one, it's called the Mustang or whatever. It's a Gen 3. Yeah, Mustang Spirit, right? I'm trying to get this, and I have 7 million right now. 
and doing missions is just it's just too slow. So I've been AFKing. I've only gotten a couple million, but out of all this millions I have, I've gotten about three to four million from just AFKing. So that's what I'm going to do. And I just wanted to show, like, bro, this is why this game is good. It's because it has so much that you can do in the game, and there's no reason to leave this game to enjoy something. Like, it has story, it has PvP, it has, you know, it has everything that a game should have. And it's sad, because so many games don't implement some of this stuff. They'll go and implement half of it, or they'll be like, hey, we're going to do nothing but PvP, and then when our player base declines, because they're always getting beat by a fucking big area of effect, we're just going to uh, blame the players. Like, like it's, it's just so stupid how most games function. But then you look at stuff like this, and it's like, dang, you can really just do whatever you want, and you're not forced to play. Now, there is a aspect where you're forced to pay, but you don't really have to. Right? You just have to pay for, like, ninja bag things so you can have extra abilities and you can be broken like the guy that you just saw beating the fuck out of us in that deathmatch mode. But it's like, dang, man. Like, dang, man. This game... At first I was thinking it was so unbalanced, because all I played was the mode where people are just one-shotting you and shit. But then I'm like, no, 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 no. Now I'm like, no, 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 This game is how games should be. You take time, grind shit out, you play. And then after you learn the game through the grinding and shit, you can start to fight other players, you can... You know what I mean? Like... The only thing that would make this game better is if you could build your own house and there was like random shit that you could do that was able to be done with people that wasn't in the open world. There was some other addition to the game where it's hard to explain it right now, but if it was its own version of a dungeon, but it was an open world survival thing, like, like there would be something like that. Like something that's a dungeon, right? It's not a real dungeon. But you queue into it like it's a dungeon. It's all in world survival. And then you have to help other people or you can be against them. Sort of like Rust, but I'm talking about a game mode, not fucking... You know what I mean? Not a survival game. Like that would be some cool shit. Maybe like a horde mode, maybe that's what I'm trying to do. Oh no, no, no. You know those games where you fucking... You have your soldiers, right? You build up your army, you build up your base. And then you send out your soldiers. That's, that's what I'm trying to describe. One of those games where you build up your little base. And you send out your soldiers. And then your soldiers go and collect the other resources. Like, that's what I'm trying to describe. A game similar to that. But this is the end of this video, I was just fucking, I was surprised. The match before I started recording, that was my first match. And the person rage quit after after they killed me, but it was like, bro. Bro. I didn't expect this game to actually be this good. At first, I was going to rate this game like a fucking... 2 out of fucking 10 of fucking... 5 out of 10 type shit, but now I'm like, nah, this is a good 6, 7 out of 10. This game tries to do everything that games should be doing. So you can't give this game less than a 5 if you're rating this game, even though it has a broken mode that they might never fix, even though the grind is hard as fuck, because it's long as fuck. You can't rate this game lower than a 5 out of 6 because it does, it, it goes above and beyond and a lot of this stuff is free. Only, you can get almost every single thing in the game for free. Like you, you don't get forced to grind certain things, you get forced 
to uh, do it repeatedly, but you don't get forced to grind it because you can just randomly get shit and you can go and steal people's stuff, but it's like, that's how I actually got the Mustang thing. I just took it from a boss someone was <laughs> I just took it from the boss somebody was doing, like, legitimately, that's how I got the Mustang thing. But it's like, bro, there's so much stuff in this game that should be in other games. That is actually kind of depressing. Because we've just been playing shit game after shit game after shit game after shit game. I might name this video world. This game has no right to be this good. But I did not know this game was as good as it is. It's it's actually like a six or a seven. The reason I say it's a six or a seven because there's broken components in the game. There's you know you know the usual trash shit. But everything that they're trying to do here flows together, it works together, it doesn't break itself. But the actual game is broken, right? There's stuff that doesn't work that's supposed to work that doesn't work because they didn't implement it properly or they didn't code it properly, they might fix that. But because it's been, it's been broke like that for like a year, I say that the game is a, a 6 or a five but you can't really rate it a five right you can't really you can't really rate it lower than five because of the sheer amount of shit that they actually put into the game that you can actually do that you can actually enjoy that you can but like, you can actually enjoy some of the stuff in the game you you're ever bored or some shit you want to just put on some music and brain dead grind something out you could do this you could play this game and just brain dead grind something out while listening to the music. You could fucking get some friends, do a role play mode. Like, there, like there's tons of shit that you could do that they didn't completely develop properly. But like the fact that it's here and it's available and it functions, but some of it is broken. Like that's why I would give it fucking. A six rating and I was thinking about seven but there is a lot of broken shit that fucking you know what I mean by now it's been a year you know what I mean since some of this stuff broke they could fix it by now because the thing is that it was working before so the fact that it's broken now you know what I mean like it like it's kind of inexcusable because it it breaks the core of the game it breaks the grinding in the game it breaks you know a lot of shit it, it disrupts the flow of the game but if if you were to turn this game into a title game like god of war some shit and you put it on the naruto then you put it on dragon ball z the way that people want to fucking make dark souls be put onto everything like this would actually this would actually be a reasonable thing to put it on to Naruto and put it on to Dragon Ball Z and put on to uh, you know anime in general, because most anime is RPG style gaming. When you, I mean, not RPG style gaming, RPG style stories. You're role playing. You're in a city. You're in a village. You're in a whatever. Like most anime is role play style story storytelling. Right, like it's it's a complete immersive like every almost every every anime show has like its own economy, its own this, its own religions, its own you know what I mean? Like it's almost completely all roleplay shit. So when you look at this game, it's it actually successfully does stuff better than games like Berserk. Better than the entire Naruto video game series better than the entire Dragon Ball Z video game series better than uh, the Attack on Titan video games like, it, like it's actually kind of sad that this game actually does better in terms of what it's trying to execute but they don't have the 
the, the studios and shit that any of those other games have. So the game comes out kind of sucky and trash and underdeveloped and something breaks in the game and now it's broken for years, you know what I mean? Like, it's just really disappointing that no one at these big-ass companies is like, hey guys, let's work together. Like, it's, like it's sad because this, this shit could make so much money, it could be so successful. If someone took what's in this game and turned it into some real shit. But I'm done talking now, that's the end of the video.